Hi everybody, this is Jan from Jan's Art and I'm going to do a digital sketch of the side view of a, one of my favourite podcasters, D Marble and YouTubers and I'm doing it on an iPad Pro 12.9 uh, I'm using an Apple Pencil and I'm, I'm using the Procreate app now what I've done is, there's the same image, but what I've done is I've just traced an outline on the right hand side, uh, just in a brown colour, just to give me a, a, a starting point for the colouring in that I'm going to do. Okay. Now that's the image that I want to try and sketch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the middle of the sketch. So I'm going to start with the ear. So what I'm going to do is, I've already just captured the ear. And I'm just going to move it. So there's what I've captured of his ear. And I'm just going to move it over there. So this is just um, a section of the ear that I've duplicated, copied and pasted next to the ear that I'm going to work on. So this way I can see really up close where it is I'm working, okay? Now, let's just have a go. What have we got here? Take that ear off a second. Take those off a second. I think these are Oh yeah, that's my sketch, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, leave that there. Right, I'm going to sketch on this layer underneath my my rough layer. So let's bring that ear back. So let's zoom in on the ear. Right. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to get a colour, um, a base colour that I can use just for the ear. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on the inner ear here and just pick. Um, a lovely skin tone. Now I'm in my inking my studio pen and all I'm going to do is I'm just putting in some tone for the ear. Okay. Now all I want to do at the minute just get an outline of the ear, see? This is my the base of the, the base tone of the ear. Okay, now there's lots of tones and colours and hues inside this ear. So but what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna put in a A matte colour, solid colour. That's it. Now I may just add a little bit more just underneath. That'll do. Just a little bit of skin on the outside of the ear and just on here. Okay? Not too much because I want to concentrate on the ear. All right. Right. So now I've got my my skin tone for my ear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to call that a clipping mask. Okay. So this is my layer for selection. So I lock that, and I've got a, a clipping mask. Okay. So whatever colour I use, look, I've just used a red. If I go straight across, see. doesn't go anywhere but beyond where the ear is. Okay, but that's not the colour that I want. Okay, so let's start with some of the darks first, yeah? So I'm going to go into the ear, darkest recesses of the ear. Right, and I've got a lovely brown there. I'm going to change my brush. I used a studio pen just to give me a flat colour, but on this clipping um, 
layer I just want to use let's just say a where is it where are the charcoal there it is a 6b compressed so I'm using that 6b compressed now what I'm going to do if I just zoom in I just want to put in some color now I've got it I've got the opacity down a little bit so I can build this up see and I'm getting a lovely skin texture with the charcoal brush that I'm using already you see so if I get these darks in let's just reduce this a little bit a little bit on the edge there there's a little bit of darkness here see so let's just put that in there and let's just bring it a little bit and make the brush a little bit thicker that's it and a little bit of darkness there There's some darkness here this is the Y in the ear that I'm doing at the minute see the shading now I've got a little bit of darkness just coming around here it's like a little hook of shadow see and it's, let's reduce it a little bit, make it a bit thicker. There we go. And we have a little bit of darkness underneath. This is where, because the light's coming this way. So I'll just add a little bit of darkness. coming down. Now it's a little bit dark brown for my liking but it's just going to start it off. It's just going to give me somewhere to work with. Okay. Now a little bit of shadow just down here around this little bracket that I've marked. See? There's a little bit of shadow here. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to work out where my shadows are. I want to make this a 3D ear, ear, not a flat ear. So I've got some shadows here. It nearly meets up with a Y, but it doesn't. Okay. And I have some shadows here. You can see. There we go. And I'm just very lightly putting down the brush just to give me a hint of shadows. There's a little bit of shadow just here, look, see? shadow there just a teeny weeny little bit so, right what I want to do is I want to get some color now so that's my shadow my darker shadow so it's a red it's more of a redder but so it's a great way I've had to change cameras because my card was full What I'm doing is just filling this area around the ear. Get some of that darkness in there, look. A bit of lightness here. Let's get that lightness in there, see? Let's get 
get that violet in there. Just reduce it a little bit. There we go. This is very light. They're working with pastels. So if you're a pastel artist, I would recommend Procreate. So you can increase this thickness and sensitivity. Put some of that darkness in there. Because I'm using the opacity, I can go in a couple of times. If I increase it fully, Want to be a lot darker, see? There we go. Just make it a little bit wider, bring back the opacity. You tend to have an inkling for how much opacity you're going to need. It, I find it invaluable to have what you're drawing right next to where you're drawing it. And that way you, you don't have to scan too far and you can kind of remember what it is you're, you've been looking at and when you want to try and replicate so if they're close together and you can quickly compare what you're doing with what's actually there. Okay. Lovely pink coming down here. Colours in here are are amazing. I mean there are so many different hues. Tones. There we go. That's a lovely little sheaf of red. Just in here, look, see. There we go. Get a highlight. It's a lovely bit of a cream highlight going on here. Let's increase it a little bit. Just bring it a little bit just there. Too big. Just a little bit. There we go. Might be a bit too prominent, so I'll pull it back a little bit with the opacity. That's it, see? And just a little bit in there. There's a few little aberrations of lumps and bumps that I want to get in. Use the right colour, the right tone. And this is just the ear. Where do we get started? Go back into this inner ear. Bring it around. Widen the brush. There we go. 
let's reduce the brush to a little bit of dark let's see what's going to see just a little bit and it's coming round top there we go Get some colour here, this little bit of shadow. A little bump or king just under the, the ear, the hole. And there's a bit of like what we would call spillage shadow just there. I'm just putting that in. Maybe a little bit of lightness, open it up a little bit, that's better, okay, okay, and some ready orange, just along the bottom, let's get the right thickness of the brush. Get some shadows going up there. I can't go beyond that reference that's below the clipping mask, see? So it's doing all right then. Let's work on this line here. A little bit of darkness. This is the little fold along the outer edge of the ear. There we go. Even as a good exercise, just to do a part of the face, just to build up the tones is invaluable instead of attempting the whole portrait just pick a section maybe an ear an eye a mouth a nose just one section there we go let's just zoom out and see what we've got well, next to the ear, still a bit of work to do on this bottom bit. Let's fill this. Look at the shapes that I can see. So this bit that I'm working on now bit thicker so I'm just lightly making it a little bit thicker giving it a bridge between these two highlights but not a big bridge but just enough see let's get some more of this pink on the edge here look just increase the size. That's it. Let's just go back into the fold. Increase. That's it. Have a little bit of, I'm going to take it from where I've already been this section this is a, it's still a little bit darker under here a little bit darker just there
before. Let's get some of this pinky colour here. It's very close to what I've already put down. Let's get pick up a little bit from this under shadow, it's like a half and half area. That's it. This is really bright. This is a reflection here. Let's put a little bit of highlight in there, see? A bit of a highlight going along this edge. Okay, I've got a little bit of highlight going along this edge as well. See, there we go. This is so much. Uh, fun and practice, good practice. Just getting those tones right. Let's just take away the outline. See what we've got. There we go. See? Now we're getting, we're starting to get somewhere. In fact, now that I've got the the lines gone, I can see where I, I can probably improve it. There we go. There we go. Get some dark shadow in there. This is love. So now I'm not using my grid, I'm just using comparison with what he is and what I'm doing. I'm just working on the see the grid is handy for starting off but when you leave it and then you can start to put what you actually see into practice. Thickness of these brushes make all the difference. This bit here, let's work on this. Let's get this lightness in here. A little bit of Redness is where the ear starts to come in, see? This bit of darkness there is blending in. This little bit of it, there's a brush here called Rough Skin, which is, I like it quite a lot. And, and what it will do is, as I use it, it will actually give me 
skin tone sink. The more I'm pressing in, the more just a little bit. Just that. Get some lighter colours. Increase it a little bit. Let's get this the skin popping out a little see. So now this is too flat here on the edge. I want to round it out a little bit more than what it is. So I have to get some darkness in there. Darkest bit. That's it. A little bit thicker. Just round off these edges. Give them a little bit of substance so they don't look like they're made out of cardboard. See? That's better. Ooh, along the top. Oh, that's much better. It's just rounding off the ears so it looks like a proper fold. See? So, all in all, I'm quite happy with the way this ear is coming on. We're getting very close to what his actual ear is. Now, see this? This is too clean cut of an edge, so I need to maybe come in with that's it, a little bit coming in there, a bit thicker. it maybe a little bit lighter there we go right so that's the ear all intents and purposes do not think Just adding little pieces that I can see, little areas where a little bit more shadow just might help. Generally speaking, this is what I want. A little bit darker in there. A little bit darker in there. There we go. Let me a little smudgy brush. That's it. Okay. Now I think we've got a fairly good representation of the yeah. Okay, let's just erase that ear, hide it. Let's show you what we've got so far. There you can see. So we've already got his ear. All right, that's a pretty good representation. I've just noticed something. Just ever so slow. Let's bring that ear back. I'll tell you what I noticed. 
this part here right on the edge it's a little bit more like this say just on that edge just enough whoops bit more just in there whoops don't want that one I want this one keeps switching over to an eraser I don't want that there we go that's what I want you know what I'm quite happy this now okay so I'm gonna call it ear done okay let's get rid of that ear right well, anyway I hope you've enjoyed this and um, I'll see you in part two when I choose another part of the face and before long, hopefully, we'll be able to do a whole portrait. But thanks for watching, and um, happy drawing, happy painting, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.